Joan Marie Gallot is the author of a book series on space, and she's getting ready to launch her newest book, literally. Uh, it is called Stories of the Aurora. It's part of the Dot to Dot series. It is the fifth book in the series, the twelfth book that she's written, and uh, Joan Marie joins us in studio. It's good to have you in. Uh, we'll explain the uh, rocket beside you in a moment, but I want to talk about the book first and what sort of stories are in it. Is it historical too, how people thought about the Northern Lights and uh, what their interpretation was of it? The book is a blend of sky science and storytelling. So long ago, people looked up at the night sky and when they saw the, the aurora, they didn't know what was happening. Sometimes yeah. they thought it was a good omen. Sometimes they were terrified. And they told stories to explain you know, what they saw in the sky. They didn't have the science. But today we have the science. And I think it's a lot of fun to blend both the science and the story. So you can look up, you can enjoy the, the moment, you can understand maybe how high up they are or what causes them. But you can also know what were people thinking so long ago. We also have the science to launch rockets, and where people do, uh, authors do book launches, is usually just sitting down and signing copies of a book, but you're actually launching the book, hopefully into space. Hopefully. And that's what this is for, to explain. Yes. Uh, well, I guess I take things literally as an author, so I wanted to literally launch the book. So this comes apart, and the book will be placed inside, yeah. and we will we will have a countdown and a blast off at the TELUS World of Science tomorrow at 1.30, and we hope the book will go about 175 meters in the air. It's going to be loud, yeah. and if there's a bit of wind, uh, we could, might we might have a backup plan in place, but something's going to happen. This happens at 1:30 outside Telus World of Science tomorrow, right? We're starting inside, and then we'll we'll go outside for the launch and come back in. There'll be a reading. There's going to be an astronaut impersonator. There's yeah. going to be some uh, students doing a a little presentation and a, a surprise. It's not going to make it into space. It's not going to make it into space. <laughs> well, 175 <laughs> meters isn't high enough to go in space. That's well under a kilometer, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, of course, because a thousand meters would be a kilometer. But it's a novel idea to do. You've never done anything like this before. It's my fourth rocket. It is your fourth rocket. <laughs> it's my fourth rocket. How did yes. the first uh, three go? Well, each each one was different. My, there's so the, this is the fifth book in the series. The first book um, it did quite well, but it just just about missed a car. The second one came down close oh through a tree. Okay. And the third one was a spectacular crash. But a crash is as fun as a as a good launch. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the book is geared towards children. It's written for children. It's it's geared at ages nine to thirteen. But a lot of adults buy the series because if you are new to the information, if you don't know the science of the northern lights or the southern lights and you don't know the stories ancient cultures told it doesn't really matter how old you are and you've designed these books to work with school curriculum right the dot to dot series it's actually incidental it matches the school curriculum in grade six and grade nine they study sky science but yeah. there's also aboriginal tales and um, greek greek legends and folklore from around the world and that falls in the curriculum as well and your next book are you working on it yet my next book is yes i have a couple coming out dark matters nature's reaction to light pollution yes and a book with national geographic kids on engineering brilliant okay the um uh, sky series uh the dot to dot series uh in the sky stories of the aurora the book launch goes tomorrow <laughs> at the TELUS World of Science, 1.30 in the afternoon. You want more information, you can visit uh, our website and uh, click on to news links, and uh, it's good to go. Joan Marie Gallot, congratulations on the new book, and best of luck with tomorrow's conditions and the uh, actual launch. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay.